Um, my name is Chelsea Rothman, and right now I'm kind of doing two things. One, helping Miriam with the manta, which will collect from the surface, and then also dip netting to see if we can find salps and possibly plastic pellets since we started seeing them about an hour and a half ago. So basically, the part about the plastic in the ocean issue that I'm most concerned with is that the plastics sort of work like a, a magnet for organic pollutants in the water, like pesticides and uh, fuel residue from boats and ships, um, runoffs from land, flame retardants. So any of those things stick to the plastics that are really high quantity. So it's a big issue. We already know if animals are eating plastic, so they don't digest it well or they get um, stuck in it, but the fact that they could be digesting this huge, this thing loaded with pollutants and those pollutants could be transferring to their tissue is another um, big problem. Um, for us, well, if you want to think of it in terms of humans, depending on what we're eating, if it starts low on the food chain and um, say the worm eats a pellet and the fish eats 10 worms that eat pellets and then the, that fish is eaten by bigger fish, and then we eat it, we're getting a, a big load of pollutants. Why am I using salps? <laughs> um, I wanted to pick something low on the food chain so that I would be able to say a little bit better that if they're loaded with pollutants, they're not just concentrating it from the water because fish will concentrate it through their gills as they breathe. Um, and the reason I chose salps was because oftentimes in coastal areas, they use tunicates to measure for pollutants and salps are basically pelagic tunicates. So we're gonna kind of see if we can do the same similar thing with self. For us, it means that if this is another exposure route for pollutants and it moves up the food chain and we you call it biomagnify up the food chain, so one fish eats 10 worms that ate plastic and so on and so on, so each one has a bigger load. If that is the fish that ends up on our dinner plate, we too are getting DDTs and PCBs and PBDEs which are all toxic at certain levels, even to us.